Three individuals have claimed that perfect Dawa sugarcoats Islam. First, Yef Dawa. But, now let me clarify the point because we don't sugarcoat our religion. You tell me what is worse, allowing somebody to be public in their apostasy and encourage other people to Jahannam, yeah. is this worse yeah. or is killing him worse? Second, Ali Dawa. Brother Moji, let me tell you something. The reason you're saying this maybe is because you have some kind of an inferiority complex. Brother, I'm not shy of my religion. I don't give a damn if the entire globe came. In Islam, there is capital punishment, and I'm proud of that. I am fully proud of it. I am fully happy with it. I'm fully content with it. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. I don't give a damn if somebody comes and says, oh, your religion teaches that. Yeah, my religion teaches that. How does that make my religion false? So what is your problem? You claim you to be a Muslim. Why are you so afraid of this capital punishment? I, I, I really want to understand. And lastly, Harris Sultan, a known critic of Islam. Then I think you should also go after those people who are representing your faith um, uh, incorrectly, according to you. So those guys are your enemies in that sense, because the Islam, the damage they're doing to Islam is probably nowhere near the damage we can do. Yeah. I mean, the most you're going to get out of people like us is like, OK, we're atheists, but we're not going to come out and we're going to kill you know, start killing people. But those guys are talking just that. Ali Dawa says that we're proud of that. We're proud that we're going to kill you. So who aligns more closely with Islamophobes, perfect Dawa, or extremists like Yef Dawa and Ali Dawa? It is, in fact, these extremists who represent some of the greatest challenges to the true message of Islam. If you claim to be Muslim, why do you ask these type of questions that the Islamophobe is oh. asking in order to misguide the people mm. and confuse them about what lo the law of apostasy is. All right, now you ask me a question. Because Why? because all Islamophobes on this planet, every single of them say, Islam is what you say. When no. I say Islam is this, no. they say, no, this is not Islam. I have been debating no, David no. Wood four times, four times. He said, no, this is not Islam. I have been debating different, I have, I have been de debating, be I have been, wait, I have been debating uh, apostate prophet. They say Islam is not this, Islam is Taliban, ISIS, Boko Haram, and what you say. No, 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 Yes, all of them say Islam is that. You are not Muslim. give people a chance. Okay. No, you, you were talking all the time. Yeah doesn't agree with me all of them relax, entirely relax. they all say Can that relax for a second? okay yes the islamophobe doesn't agree with me mm. i and hakikachu actually read islam we, we, there's no disagreement with him and me on islam <laughs> you know, I'm, i reckon he's 100 percent right i think what he's saying about islam is 100 percent right um but but with this nice gentleman who was who, who thinks that you know islam is rainbows and butterflies and, you know, some very benign religion. And who needs, who needs ex-Muslims and so-called Islamophobes when you have these enormous Muslim clerics doing our work? And, and again, let me tell you, he is absolutely 100% honest from Islamic theological point of view. Have a listen to what he has to say. When Muslims go and conquer the, the adjacent country, if they refuse, then we have to fight. And if we fight you, then we capture you, you become our slaves, and we take your land, and you take where because you refuse, I give you two good options. This video presents a clear fact that the greatest threats to Islam aren't Islamophobes, but rather extremists like ISIS, the Taliban, Yef Dawa, Muhammad Hijab, and Ali Dawa.